Welcome to your weekend ticket. First, we'll check out who came out on top in last weekend's box office numbers. Then we'll let you know what's new in theaters this weekend. And finally, we'll leave you with some new releases to stream on Fandango now. Sonic the Hedgehog doesn't just gotta go fast, it's gotta break records. The family-friendly film had the largest debut weekend ever for a video game adaptation, coming in with 58 million over the traditional weekend, to last year's best of 54 million from Detective Pikachu. Sonic the Hedgehog totaled 70 million over President's Day four-day weekend, making it the fourth highest President's Day weekend of all time. That's a lot of rings. Speaking of breaking records, last weekend's other new wide release, Fantasy Island, a PG-13 update of the classic TV show with an added Blumhouse horror twist, became the highest grossing horror film debut of this year so far at 14 million after President's Day. And from presidents to the current king of social media, Bong Joon-ho's Parasite walked away with four Oscars the previous weekend, including becoming the first ever foreign language film to win Best Picture. Parasite also returned to 2,000 theaters, added 6.8 million to its total box office, and had a 234% increase in ticket sales. This marks the largest post-Oscars boost for a Best Picture winner in the past decade. The South Korean film entered the top 10 for the weekend, and became the fourth highest grossing foreign language film of all time in the US at 45 million and pushed its total gross over 205 million worldwide. To live again, he needs a friend. The first new movie hitting theaters this weekend is a horror movie sequel called Brahms the Boy 2. This time around, it's a new story and a new cast, but the same director and the same old creepy, well-dressed doll. When a family with a troubled son moves into the guest house of Heelshire Mansion from the first movie, it isn't long before they find Brahms. The son quickly becomes eerily bonded to the doll who seems to have upped his creepy abilities. Sorry, Katie Holmes. Like I said, director William Brent Bell returns, as does the writer of the first movie, Stacey Meaner. So if you like the first movie, you'll probably want to catch this one. I'm glad you're enjoying this. The Call of the Wild also comes out this weekend. In this film adaptation of the popular novel, Harrison Ford teams up with a hairy co-pilot once again. This time, it's a tortured sled dog named Buck. After Buck is ripped from his home, sold as a sled dog, and endures mistreatment, he eventually meets John Thornton, and the two set off on adventures in the wild, testing their strength and bond. The novel is told from Buck's point of view, and it looks like the film is staying true to giving him a lot of personality. The CG Buck is a scan of a real-life dog adopted by the director, and his motion capture is acted by human Terry Notary, who also did the mocap for Kong in Kong Skull Island. Also, director Chris Sanders has writing credits on several movies you're probably familiar with, like Aladdin, Mulan, Lilo and Stitch, How to Train Your Dragon, and Beauty and the Beast, just to name a few. There's also some great movies that are now available to stream at home on Fandango now. Let's start with Oscar winner, Jojo Rabbit. Taika Waititi won his first Oscar for Best Adapted Screenplay with this film about a young kid growing up in Germany during World War II. Jojo Rabbit is a satire that follows a lonely German boy named Jojo, played by Roman Griffin Davis, who idolizes Hitler and Nazis. But he finds that his loyalties are tested when he learns his mother is hiding a Jewish girl in his house. The film stars Scarlett Johansson, newcomer Roman Griffin Davis, Sam Rockwell, and writer-director Taika Waititi as Hitler. As of this filming, the movie sits at an 80% certified fresh and an audience review score of 95% cause who doesn't love Taika Waititi? No one. No one doesn't like Taika Waititi. Now available to stream the Oscar-nominated Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. While not a biopic on the life of the lovable Fred Rogers, this movie is based on a real-life story. The film tells the story of a reporter whose life is touched by Mr. Rogers as he learns more about the man and his positive impact on the world around him. Tom Hanks of course plays Fred Rogers and was given blessing and praise from Mr. Rogers' widow Joanne Rogers for his portrayal. And if afterwards you want a deeper biographical look into Mr. Fred Rogers' heartwarming life, I recommend Won't You Be My Neighbor, also available for digital purchase on Fandango now. There's so much Mr. Rogers. That's your weekend ticket. 
Leave us a comment below and let us know what you'll be watching this weekend. I'm Kale Anonymous, and I'll see you next Tuesday with more box office numbers, new releases, and new movies available to stream at home on Fandango Now.